Hello everyone, and what's up? In this episode, we are going to cover emotions. Um, more specifically, our character is going to have different emotions that we are going to portray easily. And the way we're going to do that is through having different sprites for, uh, for different images for our character's emotions. And we're just going to have a little option right over here. Uh, you can see my mouse right below our character. We're going to have a, be able to select a list of emotions that we're going to set up. Alright, so how are we going to do that exactly? Well, let's get right into it. First, we're going to go to our scripts folder and uh, we are going to go to our character profile. So let's double click that, open that up. So we're going to be using properties and if you don't know what that is, it's just a way for us to call all the pieces of code whenever we call this um, my portrait. So what we're going to do is going to set this to a private. And it's going to mess some other things up, but we'll fix it later. And then we're going to make a public sprite and call it my portrait. So it's going to have the same name as um, my portrait, but it's going to be a it's going to be a capital M instead of um, a lowercase m. And whenever you use whenever you use properties, you want to have a capitalized for the first letter. Um, that's just the way people do it. That's just the way I do it. And so we're going to use get. And so whenever we get uh, my portrait, we're going to call a little piece of code. And we're going to, first of all, return my portrait. And make sure that uh, when you return my portrait, you're returning the lowercase m1. We're returning this one. And so. This way, um, whenever we get my portrait, we can add some stuff here. And this will always get called whenever we call my portrait. So what do we want to call? Well, let's uh, do some other stuff first and then we'll then we'll uh, deal with that later. So first of all, we're going to make our list of emotions and we're going to make sure you uh, go outside here outside this curly bracket so we're going to go outside of our class and we're so that we can access this anywhere we're make a public enum and call it emotion type and we're gonna have a list of emotions here and we're gonna be making some emotions and so in this video, we're just going to have um, three separate emotions. We're going to have a standard one. So this is our this is going to be our default one. Then we're going to have a happy. Then we're going to have a sad one, I think. I think we was angry. I think it was angry. And so we're going to have those three. And the next thing we're going to want to do is we are going to want to have... We're going to want to have um, a place where we can actually set the pictures for our emotions. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to get public class and call it emotion portraits. And then we're going to make a public sprite for each um, emotion. And we're going to want to mirror this with. Um, with our emotions here. So make sure they're the exact same. Because it would be weird if you had like a sad emotion but it didn't exist in your enums. Because how can you call something that doesn't exist? So we're make a standard, make a happy, and then we're going to make a angry one. And that's it for that. And then we're going to make the system dot serializable, and what that's going to do is going to allow us to actually see it in the inspector when we do this. So we make motion portraits, 
and call it emotion portraits. And so if we didn't have system.serializable here, emotion portraits wouldn't be able to be seen in the inspector panel. You just have to take my word for it. And so with that, we're going to take a look at our character profile. And we're going to be altering sans and papyrus here. Oh, we have an error. So this is the error I was talking about. And saying um, this is a private. So this is you're, you're be able to find this in your dialog manager. And if you scroll down, when we call my portrait, um, because we set my portrait to private, we can't access any anymore. But we made a property with the lower, with the uppercase M. And it should fix that. And with that being fixed, um, it'll compile, and then it should work now. And it does. So we're gonna go over to Sans, and we have our emotions here: standard, happy, and angry. And so it got rid of our um, my portrait, our standard before, so we have to reset that. So let's. Do that real quick, and we'll make it happy, and then we'll make it angry. So I just found these online, so they don't look that great, but whatever. And we're gonna do the same thing for papyrus here. Normally I'd have a different one, but eh, you get the point. All right, so let's go back. So it doesn't quite work yet because we need to set some things up. And so, remember where when we made our property, we want to add some stuff here. This is the part where we're going to add some stuff. And so what we're going to do is we're going to make a public emotion type. And call it emotion. Um, we'll set it as um, emotion and then put it as get and set. So this is a quick property. Um, the reason why we're doing this is because we want to hide it in our inspector panel. You can also do just hide. This is what I do personally, but you can also do hide in inspector, but I find that like kind of longer to type. And this is just a little bit simpler for me. And then next we're going to have a public void set emotion type. So this is where we're going to set our emotion or what emotion we want to be displayed. And we're going to say new emotion. And so we're going to pass through an emotion type here. And this is just an easy way to set our emotion to a new motion. So this is the emotion of our character. And then whenever we call this, it's going to be changed to the new emotion that we pass through. All right, so we're going to have a switch statement. And then we're going to have an emotion here. So this is going to be a switch statement of our emotions. And then we're going to make a couple of cases. Motion type dot standard. So what the what standard? And so this, this is where we set our portrait. My portrait is going to be equal to emotion portraits dot standard. And then we're going to do that for our other ones too. Alright, so we have all of our emotions set up, but now we need to actually call this piece of code in here. So we're going to do set emotion type. And we're going to throw in our character's emotion. And so now, whenever we call my portrait, remember in our dialog manager, we call my portrait right here. So whenever we set the portrait here, it's going to our, going to go into our character profile and it's going to call this piece of code and it's going to set the emotion here. 
Alright, but it's still not quite done yet. There's one more thing we need to do, and we need to go into our dialogue base here. And we have a lot of stuff here that I'm not using. So let's just get rid of some of this stuff. I don't know what I'm looking at. And we are going to... Alright, so we're going to make a public emotion type. We call it character emotion. And then, and then we're going to make a public void change emotion. Let's say character dot emotion equal to character motion all right and there's one last thing we need to do so this actually changes our character motion to the one that we want here see so our character dot emotion so we go back to our character profile the emotion here so this is going to be our, our current uh, emotion of the character. And let's go back over here. And we're going to set it equal to the emotion that we set over in our dialog. So go over to our dialog. We now will see that we have character emotions. And we can set to happy, angry, or standard. And it's going to set it equal to that. And then when we actually call my portrait it's going to call this piece of code set motion type and then it's going to set the emotion of my portrait or it's going to set my portrait to the emotion that we want it to be and so but right now change emotion is not being called it's just kind of here so right before we set my portrait we need to call that piece of code so we're going to go to info dot character actually no not info dot character info dot change emotion here and so what that's going to do is it's going to change the emotion first and then we're going to call my portrait so if all that worked we're going to Set this one. Oh, we're just gonna make a couple more and set up a papyrus. Let's say I am angry, and then we'll change this to sands. And say I am happy. We're gonna change it to happy. Let's see what happens. Okay, how's it going? And then I am angry, and you see the angry face. And then I am happy, and you see the happy face. So hopefully I explained that well. It's kind of complicated, but um, since I'm using like the same terminology over and over again. But hopefully that gives you some insight on properties, how we can call code whenever we call uh, our types. and you can expand upon this. So that's it for this video and I'll see you guys next time. And as usual, I'd like to thank my Patreons, Bay, Polbius, and Yoan. Uh, as usual, you can find me on patreon.com slash jetbird. Honestly, if it wasn't for my Patreon, I probably would have quit a long time ago, but you guys have uh, given me the motivation to make this video, so thank you. And uh, if you want more videos, you can become a patron or just send me a message um, either on Discord, which you can find maybe in the description of this video, maybe not. Depends. We'll see. But if you become a Patreon, then I'll read your messages 100%. And uh, I'll see you guys later.